I'm authentic. Who are you? I'm authentic. Who are you? What up, people? It's Authentic Benny, and I'm back with another video, man. This is the third iteration to complete the lighting on my Riker. So, basically, what we got so far is we got the headlights installed. As you can see, it's going to look a whole lot better once we get the front back in along with the side pieces. And we got the whole hood off, man. This thing looking like Authentic Frankenstein. We got the whole hood off right now, but we got the cross arms under there, as you can see. And we got the grill light lighting up. Also the cross arm on that side. So the whole front end of the Riker is done, but we still got two more kits. So what we doing today, we're gonna add a kit on this inside panel right here. It's gonna go all along the side. And the same thing on this side, a kit going all along the inside right here you know so i think that's gonna look real good and that's just one kit and we also got a underglow underglow kit that's going along this part and the same on the other side of the bike so the complete underside of the bike will be lit up at nighttime this is gonna be heat man this is gonna be pressure man let's get it so the first thing we need to do is unlock this air box this is how you access the engine, too, if you want to check your engine oil for the people who don't know. Um, pretty much going to clean the underside right here. And just like we did with the other ones, clean, stick them on, and pretty much guide them. I probably have to take this back apart. Yeah, that's going to come and lose easy. Or I might just fish it right underneath. That way we can access the battery. And we're going to do that. Got to do the same thing for this side, and I'll pick y'all back up when I got that done. I already got uh, everything cleaned up with the alcohol prep wipe. I also put the adhesive promoter along the sides. Now it's time to go ahead and get this thing in. We're going to go ahead and mount it right here. Steady hands help with stuff like this, bro. I can tell you right now. But... Definitely want to make sure I get it out the way because um, you don't want to mess around and kick it off by mistake while you're riding the bike and mess up the whole kit. So I decided to carefully make sure it's completely out the way. Some people mount theirs to where it's exposed, to where you can see the light. But I like it like this for two reasons. Keep it out the way for when you're riding. And I don't like the look of bare LEDs. I actually like my LEDs hidden. That way you can just see the glow. So go ahead and mount that up real, real careful. You know, like that. Boom. Oh yeah, that's going on Get good, man. That's going on real good. So come around now. Put it on the very, very edge to where you can see the glow, but you gotta know it's there to really pay attention to it, you know? This is about the longest one of all three kits. So I just peel the red backing off the uh, 3M tape as I need it, and then stick it down slow. All right, y'all, so we got everything wired up and connected, as you can see, we glowing, man. We glowing on the left side, and we glowing on the right side, man. As y'all can see, everything came together so good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back up, just so you can get a real look at what we got going on. Go ahead and lock that real quick. Boom, boom. 
see that thing chasing. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. So I didn't record everything, but um, basically what we did was we put this side in, put the other side in right there. And then what we did was uh, I had an extension tied it to the piece that's coming right here. This is it right here. I'll get all these wires together later on, but this is the piece that's coming in. It's coming all the way around. Then you got a splitter that jumps from this side to that side, which goes to the controller module. And that's it, man. Simple as that. That's it. So the last piece to the puzzle is the underglow for the rear of the bike. So we about to go ahead and knock that out right now. And at the package, we got two strips that's going like underneath, ducked off, underneath the seats down there. And you got one strip of underglow that's going all along the bottom of the bike to light everything up. So the whole ground gonna be lit up. And all of this, excuse all that dirt, but all that's gonna be lit up at night too. All right, as y'all can see, we got the last pieces done. These are the two that go underneath the seat. And I also got a splitter connected to those. As you can see on the other side, the splitter is coming out right here, you know. So I'll just get an extension piece to connect these two together, which this is the underglow, as you can see. Boom, 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 got that in. These are the last two pieces to the puzzle, underneath the seat and the underglow. So we're gonna connect these together, bring an extension up to go all the way to the side of the bike and connect to the controller. <sighs> finally, man, almost done. Let's go. All right, finally, I got all the wire coming through. As you can see, the splitter right there. Don't worry about that. That cover will cover all that wiring up. Once I put that on, uh, splitter coming down from the seat lights all the way through, underglow, boom, boom, boom. As you can see, I got it looped around. I'll come back and tie wrap all that later so it's looking good. Got everything routed up, coming all the way up. And this is the last piece to the puzzle. And we're about to go ahead and get that in. And we got it connected, man. Coming around to see our work. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, man. That underglow busting, boy. Look under them seats. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Like when people behind me on the interstate, that's gonna be hard. Lighting up the ground like that. Man, that's pressure. Y'all wait till it get dark. Of course I'm gonna include that in the video when it get dark. Bro, I love that look. I love that look. So what I'm about to do right now is go ahead and button everything back up, put my hood on, put my uh, front trunk back in, put my side pieces back on, put everything back together. And then we're gonna take a ride to the park and we're gonna give a full walk around of the completed process. <laughs> Let's go. All right, y'all, so we parked up at the dead end. As you can see, them new uh, headlights shining bright, looking good. Um, I just wanted to really wait for it to get dark to come showcase the car. I mean, the car, I'm so used to saying car, the bike, but uh, it took me so long like to wire all this stuff up. It ended up being nighttime anyway, so I guess it was meant to be, it is what it is, but it's kind of cold outside, kind of too cold to be riding, for real. But uh, I just wanted to show y'all, you know, the outcome of the bike. So let's get it. So as you can see, that thing is sitting up looking chunky. Um, it's got the grill lighting in, you know, the front controller arms in, shining, shining bright. Got the headlights in. This is what I was telling y'all about. You wasn't really going to be able to see the LED. 
just the glow from the LED on the headlights, which that is pressure, man. Come around the side, you got the side shining, looking good. You know, um, under the seat, this is my favorite one because you can't see the headlight, you can't see the uh, LED lights at all. It's just that glow shining on the back, the rear springs, looking real good, man. Looking real, real good, lighting up the exhaust and everything. Um, the underglow on the bottom, I really like that too, even though you can kind of see the LED, but if you close up on the bike, you really only see the glow, which is real nice, which is real, real nice, man. Coming around the side, same thing, you know, got that looking good. See, see what I'm saying about them seat lights? That's my favorite ones, man. That just looks so good when you just see that glow from the light. It's like you don't know where it came from. But these were the hardest ones to install. It was just so hard to get all the way up in there, you know. But we got it done, nevertheless, man. <laughs> nevertheless, she looking good, man. I'm liking it so far. I'm really, really liking it. That's going to wrap this one up, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Man, make sure y'all stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow the Instagram right now. Authenticated on Instagram. Until the next video, Authentic Benny, I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.